啊，现在我们开始讲今天晚上的课。So we're going to begin now with this evening's teaching. 那么今天晚上的课呢，就是这个题目就是梦的讯息，就是，呀。啊 ，So the topic of this evening's teaching is the messages of dreams. 那么，嗯，梦的讯息是什么呢？就是说梦。告诉我们了什么，或者是蒙给我们透露了什么样的讯息，就是这个意思。啊、uh, ，So when we talk about the messages of dreams, what is it that we mean by that? Well,、uh, primarily, what it is that dreams convey to us, what meaning it is that dreams impart. 在藏传佛教的秘法。里面呢，这个蒙的修法是一个非常重要的呃修法。Within the、uh, Vajrayana teachings of Tibetan Buddhism, dream-related practices are extremely important. 呃，因为这个蒙啊，如果我们去分析呃的话，这梦里面就有很多的东西我们可以学习，然后不但是学习，而且我们。可以把梦啊用来做一些修心上的啊非常有利的事情。And the reason、uh, for this is that if we analyze dreams, then there's a great deal of content within them that we can learn from, and、uh, not only content that we can learn from, but we can also use dreams as an excellent foundation for our practice. 嗯，然后我们啊没有我不。不修心的人，嗯，对一个不修心的人来说，啊，蒙啊，就是没有什么价值的，嗯，大家都觉得蒙是假的，啊，没有什么意义的。To someone who is、uh, who isn't a practitioner, then dreams are of no value.、Uh, they consider them to be not real and therefore quite meaningless. 但是，作为一个修心人来说。蒙就是一个非常重要的。But to a practitioner, dreams are extremely important. 比如说，死亡也是一样啊。比如说，我们对一个不学习啊、不修心的人来说，死亡它就是一个非常恐怖的啊。平时都我们不愿不愿意去呃谈论啊，更加的不愿意去呃面对呃，就是一个这样子的事情。It's the same with death as well. To someone who is not a practitioner, death is something that is terrifying. It's something that one doesn't wish to speak about, let alone confront. But as a practitioner, death is also a very important opportunity for a practitioner. But in the same way, death to a practitioner is an excellent opportunity to practice. 如果我们有了一种方法，也就是这种修心的方法，那这样子的话，我们平时我们大家认为没有意义的、没有价值的很多东西，都变得非常有意义和非常有价值。If we have at hand an appropriate method or an appropriate practice, then many things that to begin with were without value or without meaning can be transformed to、uh, possessing great meaning and value. 呃，那么蒙啊，有一个啊，就是就是专门针对蒙的有一个修法啊，这个就叫做蒙瑜伽。There is a practice that is specifically tailored to dreams, and that's called dream yoga. 呃，这个蒙的瑜伽啊，它就是一个非常特殊的一种修法。And、uh, this dream yoga is an extremely、uh, special、uh, form of practice. 那么今天我们讲的这个蒙瑜伽。就是蒙瑜伽里面的有呃一部分。Uh, what we are going to be talking about tonight in relation to dream yoga is only part、uh, of the content of this practice. 如果我们要学这个蒙瑜伽的全部的内容，这样子的话，那首先啊、呃、是要
有每一个人都必须要官丁啊，这个官丁的要求也是比较高的。If we wish to study the contents of dream yoga in its entirety, then it's、uh, necessary that everybody first receive an appropriate empowerment. 然后灌了丁一后呢，我们大概就是需要啊两个星期、三个星期这样子的时间啊当中啊，然后边学习边搭坐修心啊，必须要有这样子的指导啊，才能够啊学完啊这个珍贵的。蒙语家，全部的蒙语家。And having received an appropriate empowerment,、uh, it's then necessary that we spend approximately two to three weeks receiving、uh, the、um, full instructions on this practice during a period where we receive instructions and then implement them through meditation. And it's only、uh, this way that we can go about learning the entirety of Dream Yoga. So. 蒙瑜伽啊，它的全部的内容是一节课是没有办法讲完的。So as for the practice of dream yoga, it's not possible to cover it fully in one、uh, teaching. 但是啊，我们可以就是在一节课里面呢，啊，简单的去了解一下这个蒙瑜伽。However, it is possible for us to gain a basic overall understanding of、uh, dream yoga in one teaching. Ah,、uh, 同时呢，我们也可以去学一部分的梦瑜伽的实际的修法。And we can also learn some basic practices related to dream yoga too. 那么这一部分的梦瑜伽，没有观顶的人也可以学习。And、uh, these exercises within Dream Yoga are ones that、uh, people who have not received an, an empowerment、uh, are able to learn. 首先啊，梦瑜伽跟我们的修心啊，跟我们的修心有很多方面的呃、啊、非常重要的这个联系关系。So the first thing to note is that、uh, dream yoga has many important connections to our practice. 首先，我们啊，这个呃，修心啊，修心学佛，首先是必须要有自己的见解。Uh, the first thing is that in terms of our practice,、um, the first thing we need to establish is our view. 那这个蒙瑜伽跟我们的见解是有非常密切的关系。And、uh, dream yoga、uh, is extremely closely related to our view。然后第二啊，跟我们的这个大坐修心啊也有关系。Uh, dream yoga is also related to our meditation。第三啊，我们的日常生活当中的。呃、uh, ，一举一动啊， uh, 跟蒙瑜伽也有关系。And dream yoga is also related to our everyday life, every aspect of our everyday life. 首先，我们简单的说，蒙瑜伽跟我们的观点啊，跟这个我们的见解呃，有什么样的关系 ？So the first thing we're going to talk about is the relationship between dream yoga and our view. 啊、uh, ，在这个之前呢，我们首先啊， uh, 告诉大家蒙蒙是什么。But before we、uh, begin to talk about this, we need to、uh, look at what dreams are. 我们可以这样子理解啊， uh, 这个世界啊， uh, 我们的外面的这个世界啊， uh, 从佛教，尤其是从密法的角度看啊， uh, 就是有三种不同的。宇宙，或者是三种不同的世界。呃、uh, ，We can understand it in this way.、Um, from a Buddhist perspective, and especially from a tantric Buddhist perspective, it's possible to classify the external world into three different realms or three different worlds. 那么第一个世界啊，就是我们现在的这个现实生活，啊，就是我们大家都认为是非常。真实的啊，这个物质世界。呃、uh, ，The first of these is our ordinary waking consciousness, our、uh, everyday lives that everyone regards to be very real
。那么这个世界啊，我们大家都认为它就是一个世界，我们可以在这个世界当中去生活，啊、呃，去生存，啊、呃，这样子就是一个我们公认的啊、呃，认为这个就是真实存在的。And this particular world is one that everyone regards to be real, truly existent,、um, a substantial world in which we lead our lives and lead our existence. 然后，第二个世界就是梦的世界。The second world or realm is the realm of dreams. 那么，梦的世界也就是跟我们的现实生活的这个世界一样。啊，在现实生活当中，可以有的、能够有的这些东西，在梦里面都一样的可以有。And the dream world is the same as our everyday, ordinary waking world, insofar as all the things that it's possible for us to enjoy or have in our ordinary waking world, it is possible also to have in the dream state. 然后我们做梦的时候，做梦的人。他也可以在这个世界里可以生活，可以工作，可以生存。And it's also possible for a dreamer in the dream state to work and lead their lives as they do in everyday life. 然后第三个啊，第三个世界，这是我们的意识创造出来的世界。And the third world or realm is that which is created by our minds or our consciousness. 那么我们的意识创造出来的世界是简单的这个创造，比如说我们人静下来，然后呢，心里去想很多的世界啊，比如说像西方极乐世界啊，或者是地狱啊，或者是世界上的另外一个地方，我们都可以去在我们的意识当中啊。都可以去思考。Uh, this world is a product of our imagination. So, say we sit down quietly and we、uh, conjure in our minds a different place. It might be Amitabha's pure land, or the hell realms, or a different place on the earth. These are all worlds or places within our imagination. These are all worlds or places within our imagination. 那么。这个想象当中的世界，我们也可以在这个当中生活，也可以在这个当中生存。啊，我们比如说去想啊，去观想某一个世界，然后呢，我们观想我自己在这个世界里生活，等等等等，这样子的时候呢，然后这个世界也会给我们带来一些。啊、uh, ，这个，比如说，啊、uh, ，比如说，我们观想，啊、uh, ，我们观想我在某一个地方，啊、uh, ，然后生活，然后呢，啊、uh, ，有人来啊、uh, 帮助我，我心里产生这个啊、uh, 欢喜，或者是有人来偷偷抢我的东西，那么我心里不高兴，等等，那么这个世界，它也在某种程度上可以影响到我们的情绪。In、uh, this world, it's this world of our imagination. It's also possible for us to lead lives.、Um, for example, through visualization, we might visualize ourselves living in a certain place where somebody helps us, and we give rise to a feeling of happiness. Similarly, we might visualize or imagine someone stealing our things and then giving rise to a feeling of unhappiness. So, to some degree, this world is able to. Has the capacity to impact on our mood or emotional state. 然后这三个世界里面啊，最真实的、最稳固的啊，离跟我们最有影响的，那当然就是这个物质世界。Of course, of these three different worlds that have just been described, the most stable, the most realistic, and the most impactful is that of our everyday waking consciousness. 然后，其次啊，就是梦的世界。And secondly, the dream world or dream realm. 然后第三啊，就是我们的意识创造出来的世界。And、uh, the third is the imaginary world or the world conjured by our imagination. 这三个世界
都有一些不一样的地方，但是也有一些共通的、相同的地方。So these three worlds have their differences, but they also have their commonalities. 然后我们的另外一个我们的意识可以创造出来的世界。比如说，我们去想某一件啊，比如说，我们想这个周围啊，是呃，想象出来一个跟我们现在现实的东西不一样的世界。那么时间长了以后呢，至少我们自己啊，很清楚的看到这个世界就变成了我自己所想象的这样子的世界。In so far as our imaginary world is concerned, it's、uh, possible for us to、um, imagine a, a world that is different from、uh, the one that we presently occupy, and in a long time sense, for it to become like the world we occupy. 嗯，那么，比如说南传佛教啊，南传佛教的这个呃修心啊，这种冥想当中有一个，就是比如说为了控制自己的欲望，把所有的人啊都观想为骷髅头啊，就是骨架。那这样子，这个时间长了以后呢，最后呢啊，就是用他的眼睛也可以看到所有人啊都变得这个。骷髅头就是骨架啊，这样子，但这个当然不是真实的。但是呢，因为他的这个想象力，因为他的观想的力量，至少他自己的这个感官啊当中会出现这样子的实际。An example of this would be、um, a visualization exercise in the Theravada tradition of、um, viewing those around oneself as、uh, skeletons, as visualizing them as skeletons. And it's、uh, possible for a practitioner who has honed their visualization to a sufficient degree, degree for those around them to really appear as、uh, skeletons in their own eyes. Number. 这三个不一样的世界，这三个不一样的世界，从表面上看，我们认为物质世界啊是真实的，真实不虚的；然后梦的世界是虚拟的；然后呢，我们意识创造出来的世界呢，更加的虚拟啊。从表面上看，有这样子的不一样啊，有这样子的不一样的地方。Uh, looking at these three different worlds or realms in a superficial way, we tend to regard the everyday waking consciousness or the material world as the real one, and then following the the dream world to be the virtual realm or the unreal realm, and then we、uh, tend to regard the world of our imagination as even more unreal or virtual than that of the dream realm. 嗯，那么我们为什么有啊？我们认为物质世界是真实的，另外的两个世界，尤其是梦的世界是不真实呢？因为我们目前还不太了解这三个世界的本质的区别啊，不太了解它们的结构啊，所以我们简单的认为啊，物质世界是真实，梦世界是是虚拟。So why is it that at the present point in time we tend to regard the material realm as the real one, but the dream realm and the realm of our imagination as being unreal? Well, the reason for this is that、uh, where we currently stand, we don't properly understand the、um, the essence of the differences between these three realms. We don't have a proper grasp of the structure of these three different realms, and so we therefore rather simply regard the material realm to be、uh, the real or substantial one, and the other two to be unreal or virtual. 但是啊，深入的去观察。深入的去分析和了解这样子的时候呢，我们会发现啊，这个里面呢没有一个哪一个是真实，哪一个是虚拟这样子的区别。However, if we were to look into things more deeply to,、uh, and gain a deeper understanding, we would discover that, in fact, of these three realms, there is no single one that is real, and there is no single one that is unreal either. 所以，嗯，当年啊，阿底夏尊者，嗯，他来啊西藏的时候
，然后他在路上啊，他有点担心啊，他到了西藏以后呢，他没有办法把这个。佛教这样的这个空心啊，非常清楚的给大家描述。Many centuries ago, when the Venerable Atisha、uh, first came to Tibet, on his way, he felt rather concerned that he would not be able to impart the Buddhist concept of emptiness to, to Tibetans with the clarity he desired. Why? 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 在印度那个时候就有很多的魔术师，嗯，连魔术师他们幻化出来的东西，跟啊、呃、佛教这样的啊、呃、虚拟世界空心是比较相似的，所以用魔术啊、呃、魔术师变化出来的东西来描述啊、呃、佛教的空心是比较容易的，啊、呃，那么那个时候呢，阿底峡尊者他认为啊、呃、西藏。就是没有这样子的魔术师，所以他觉得这个空心啊很难描述。And the reason he was concerned that he wouldn't be able to explain Buddhism clearly enough was that in India there were many magicians、uh, who would conjure many magical apparitions, and uh, uh, using this, it was easy to impart the Buddhist concept of emptiness. However, Atisha's concern was that、uh, in Tibet there were no such magi- magicians, and so therefore communicating the concept of emptiness to Tibetans would be quite 那么他当他这样子啊担心的时候呢，他的身边的人就说啊，虽然没有这样子的魔术师啊，但是没有关系，有梦啊，有梦，有梦来将这个空心啊这样子的话，大家都能够容易理解啊。然后呢，啊底下听了这个以后就很高兴啊，虽然没有魔术师，但没关系啊，有梦啊，那么。把这个梦告诉大家，然后呢，把描述空心，这样子就很容易。But、uh, those who were by Atisha's side told him not to worry that even though there were no magicians in Tibet,、uh, there were dreams, and that he could use dreams to impart the concept of emptiness just as effectively. So Atisha felt very happy about this. He stopped worrying that there wouldn't be any magicians because he would be able to communicate effectively the notion of emptiness、uh, through dreams instead. 首先啊，我们要去了解一下啊，这三个世界当中啊，我们现在。啊，就给大家介绍一下这个梦的世界。其他的两个世界，我们现在是不讲。So of these、uh, three worlds,、um, three different worlds or realms, Kempo is now going to go、um, on to explain the dream realm. For the,、um, tonight, we're not going to go into the other two realms. 首先啊，第一个，我们人啊，睡眠的时候为什么啊做梦？ So first of all, why is it at night when we fall asleep that we have dreams? 那梦啊，它是以什么东西啊产生的 ？What is it that produces dreams? 然后这些各种各样的这个梦里面有没有一些啊讯息啊？有没有一些有意义的讯息 ？And within the various kinds of dreams that we have, are there Different messages that are of meaning to us. 首先啊，我们在现实生活当中，我们看到的这个世界，我们的眼睛啊，看到的世界是什么呢？就是因为我们的精神，我们的精神，人的精神，人的感受，通过这种眼睛啊，这种感官去了解。外面的这个世界，感受了外面的世界，这个就叫做眼睛啊，看到。So, in terms of our、um, everyday lives,、um, the world that we perceive around us is perceived through our eyes. That is, it's perceived through the eye consciousness, and、uh, this is what we call seeing. Um, 听啊，我们。听到声音的时候，也就是我们的精神，就通过我们的耳朵这个感官
啊，去感受外面的物质的一部分啊，这个就叫做我们的耳朵听见了声音。And、uh, for hearing as well, for hearing sounds, this is a case of our、uh, consciousness relying on our ear, the organ of our ear, to perceive、uh, one element or aspect of the material universe, and this is what we refer to as our ears hearing sound. 好，然后我们做梦的时候啊，做梦的时候。人就是进入了深度的睡眠啊，深度的睡眠啊，这个时候是不做梦的啊，就是失去了知觉一样啊，这个时候是没有没有没有做梦，没有意识。So when we dream or when we first fall asleep, we enter a stage where we are not are not dreaming. 啊，这个时候。人的意识啊，我们现在的这个人的意识，它进入了一个什么样的状态呢？啊，它就进入了啊，呃，用佛教啊讲这个阿赖耶识，就进也阿赖耶识就是我们的人的最最最基本的一个啊最深层次的意识，就进入这个状态。Uh, during this stage,、uh, from a Buddhist perspective, we say that the consciousness that we have entered the alaya vinyana or the、uh, fundamental consciousness. 那么进入了这个状态的时候呢，因为这个阿赖耶识啊，它是没有思维，没有思维，所以呢，人这个时候是不会做梦的，是深度的睡眠。And because there is no mental activity in the、uh, alaya vinyana, then there is、uh, no dream activity. This is a extremely、uh, state of deep sleep. 然后开始做梦的时候啊，这个阿赖耶识它有稍稍的波动啊，稍稍的波动。然后这个波动啊，就是实际上从这个阿赖耶识当中就产生了意识啊。刚才。深度的这个睡眠的时候是只有阿赖耶识，那没有意识。那现在开始做梦的时候呢，意识从阿赖耶识当中啊开始啊产生啊开始波动。When we begin to、uh, dream, this、uh, takes place when small movements occur in the foundation consciousness. So prior to this, there is no movement at all.、Um, however, when the movement starts, then we begin to、uh, have the mind consciousness. 然后意识啊，它从阿赖耶识当中产生了以后呢？然后他就在我们的人的身体里就，就有很多很多的活动，哦，开始有很多的活动。And、uh, once the mind、uh, consciousness uh, becomes active, then there is、um, movement, considerable movement in different parts of the body. 这个时候啊，意识，我们的人的意识啊，就像就像风，就像空气一样。比如说，啊，风从这个房间啊，从门和窗户进入了这个房间，然后呢，又从这个门出去，然后又它会又进入另外一个房间啊，一样。Uh, during this time, the consciousness in our body is like air or wind. It's like wind entering the room from this door or window, and then passing through the door and move the other door, and then moving into a different room. 然后这个时候，我们的意识在人的身体里啊，身体的上上下下，各个的这个感官啊当中去活动。And so,、uh, during this period, the our consciousness moves all around our body, from the top to the bottom,、um, in and out of our different sensory perceptions. 那么，我们的这个时候的意识，那它走到啊这个眼睛。啊，这个感官的时候，我们会梦到啊，会梦到啊，五颜六色的各种各样的颜色啊，各种各样非常漂亮的颜色。
when the our consciousness um, moves into our eye organ, then we uh, experience dreams of splendid, vivid colors. These colors, in our eye, we see these colors. They are not in a particular world, but they are in our eyes. When we enter into the eye, we experience a kind of feeling. The colors that we experience in this dream don't exist in a particular world. Rather, they are a perception that is produced through our consciousness uh, entering into our eye. Ah, at this time, we will dream about, ah, like the sky, all kinds of different colors, ah, very beautiful, or very unbeautiful, or very disgusting, ah, these kinds of different colors of sky. So when this happens, we might、uh, dream of extremely beautiful rainbow-like colors. On the other hand, we might dream of extremely disgusting colors as well. In any case, we dream of、uh, all manner of different colors. Then our eyes have many nerves, ah, many nerves. Ah, there are 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 many nerves. 好的，或者是不太好的，有各种各样的脉。然后我们的呃这个意识进入了这些脉，好的脉啊，看到的是漂亮的颜色。然后不怎么好的这个脉啊，进入了这个，就在这个脉里面活动的时候呢，然后他会看到的是不太漂亮的颜色。但是啊，这些颜色。都都不在外面，就在自己的内在的感受当中。Within our eye consciousness, there or within our eye organ, there are many different energetic channels. Some of them are more positive, and others less so. And when our consciousness moves into the more positive of these channels, then we、uh, dream of very beautiful colors. When it moves into those that are less positive, then we dream of、um, not beautiful、um, uh, colors. In any case,、uh, whatever the nature of the color that we dream of, these colors don't ex exist in the external world, but rather they are a perception、um, that we experience. 但是啊，这个时候做梦的人啊，他不知道这个颜色是自己的一种感受，而他认为这个颜色是外面的世界，是物质啊，这样子，然后他就迷茫啊，然后就是去啊，为了这些追求这些颜色，然后在梦里面啊，做很多很多的取舍啊，然后就。感到很辛苦，感到很累，很烦恼啊，这样子。However, the dreamer inside the dream doesn't realize that these colors don't、uh, exist in the external world. They don't realize they're just a perception, and so therefore, in order to chase after these colors, they engage in many different actions. They,、um, they, they expend a lot of energy and、uh, experience hardship. 同样的道理啊，我们在现实生活当中啊，我们的眼睛啊看到了外面的世界。什么叫做啊？这个看到外面的世界，如果我们不再去深入的去了解的话，那么看到外面的世界，这个是一个很简单，每每一个人都知道的。什么叫看看见东西啊？这个就不需要不需要去观察，大家都很明白。但是，如果我们进一步的去了解，到底什么叫做看见啊？怎么样看见？为什么看见？那这个时候呢，我们会发现有一个跟梦一模一样的道理。And it's the same with our everyday waking life as well.、Uh, when we see things in the external world, well, to to speak of seeing something in the in the external world, if we are not aiming at a deep understanding of what it means to see, then it's pretty straightforward. Everybody knows what it means to see things. It's a, a very easy concept indeed. However, if we want to go deeper than this and really look more deeply into what it means to see, how 
how it is that we see, why we see, then we will discover, in fact, that there is um, a principle in common between dreams and our everyday waking life. Uh, 但是这些颜色没有颜色那么没有颜色那我们看到的这些颜色是来自于什么呢so what is this uh, principle in common between what we see in our everyday lives and what we see in our dreams? Well, the rainbow-like, vivid, colored world that we see around us, uh, what Buddhism has to say about this is the same as what our science tells us, and that is that all the colors that we perceive around us, whether it be the colors of our clothes or a flower or a building, in short, any color that we perceive in the world around us, doesn't inherently exist. It doesn't inherently exist in the object. So where then does this color come from? Well, uh, we it is a, an image that is produced by our brain. 就像这么漂亮的一束画我自己的大脑里面也让我们产生了很多很多的烦恼和不开心 if we take this uh, vase of flowers here, they look so beautiful and lovely. Uh, they have such bright colors. In fact, it's the bright colors of the flowers that uh, leads us to regard them to be as beautiful as they are. And uh, we, uh, but in actual fact, these colors don't reside in the flowers. They're, in, they're produced at the level of our own brains. It's... Uh, of this is uh, a color that is pr an image that is produced in our brain. It's not the colors flower. However, um, believing colors to exist in uh, external objects, we engage in all kinds of actions in order to obtain things, and this causes us quite a uh, quite amount of. Um, we expend a lot of energy on this, and it causes a lot of. Um, causes us a lot of, we experience a lot of affliction and suffering. 然后佛教就告诉我们, 实际上就是同样的内容 Buddhism doesn't say that uh, this color is an image produced by the brain. Rather, it says that color is a perception of the eye consciousness. Even though the uh, expressions, uh, the way that it's put is different, nevertheless, the same meaning is being communicated. 那么它跟蒙是什么差别呢? 蒙 也就是因为我们的意识在我们的身体里活动的时候，它就进入了我们的眼睛的感官，然后就看到了很多很多的颜色。
啊，现实生活当中，也就是我们的意识，通过我们的眼睛这个感官啊，看这个世界的时候，然后这个世界啊，就变成了五颜六色啊。实际上，梦里面也没有这样子的五颜六色的世界啊，现实生活当中也没有啊，两个都是没有什么的不一样。So, what is the、uh, difference then in terms of color perception between our dream state and our ordinary waking state? Well, in when we are dreaming, our consciousness、uh, resides in our eye consciousness, and we、uh, we we. Perceive、uh, colors in our everyday lives.、Um, our consciousness、uh, perceives the world around us through our eyes, and it perceives it to be made up of many different colors.、Um, these colors do not inherently exist in the dream state, and neither do they in our everyday waking state either. 那么这个世界啊，这个世界就像。六七十年代的时候啊，小孩有一个小孩子玩的，这叫做万花筒吧？万花筒知道啊？对对对对，万花筒这个对着光啊看的时候，然后这里面就是有就就有六五颜六色的各种各样的东西啊，但是里面是没有这个东西的，这是就是因为光的作用，里面看到各种各样的颜色啊。我们的眼睛看这个世界，实际上就是小孩啊，早期的时候，现在可能没有布尔这样子了啊，就那个万花筒一样，万花筒里面的世界一样。I just I just missed the beginning of that, but in actual fact, what Campbell said was that back in the 1960s or 70s, young children used to play with kaleidoscopes, and so you'd look into the kaleidoscope and you'd see all kinds of colors that existed, but in actual fact, they didn't.、Uh, well, the world that we perceive around us in its myriad colors is just like a kaleidoscope. 嗯，但是啊，这个现实生活的啊，我们看到的世界呢？就是因为比梦里面我们看到的世界稍微时间啊时间上啊可以时间久一点，也就是相对啊就是稳固一点，所以我们就认为它是真实的。However,、uh... By comparison, our everyday waking state,、um, in terms of the time that we are able to、uh, perceive it, is slightly longer than that of a dream. So, relatively speaking,、um, our everyday waking state is more stable than the dream state. 然后第二，哈，我们梦里面。然后，我们的意识在我们的身体里面这个活动的时候呢，它有些时候啊，进入了我们的耳朵啊，这个感官。然后，我们的意识进入了这个耳朵里面的，有也有很多很多的脉啊，进入了这个耳耳朵的感官的时候呢，然后我们梦里面就会啊，感觉到各种各样的声音啊。非常好听的声音啊，音乐的声音，然后很恐怖的，比如说像大雷啊这样子的声音，各种各样的声音啊，然后会出现。And in our dreams,、uh, as our consciousness moves around our bodies, it can enter our ear organs. And uh, just as uh, the same with our eye organ, there are many different channels inside our ears. And when the consciousness enters some of these channels, it will perceive sounds of a pleasant nature, such as music, pleasant music.、Uh, by entering other channels in our ear, it might perceive horrifying sounds, such as thunder. So、uh, it's possible that the、uh, consciousness, depending on what channels of the ear it enters, will perceive sounds of different kinds. 嗯，但是做梦的人啊，那个时候啊，不知道这就是他自己的感觉，他以为外面的世界就有一个这样子的声音啊，所以大雷的时候就非常的。恐怖啊！然后就是听到了音乐的声音的时候呢，然后感到非常的开心啊！然后就是为了这些事情，嗯，在梦里面都有些时候感到很开心，有些时候感到非常的这个
啊，恐惧啊，然后在梦里面啊，这样子就又活得很辛苦、很累啊。但是实际上这些都不在外面，就在自己的啊这个身体里面啊。但是做梦的人他不知道。But the person who is dreaming、uh, doesn't realize that these are all their own perception. Rather, they think that these sounds are truly exist in the external world, and on this basis, they feel very scared. Feel scared if they hear thunder. On the other hand, hearing music, they might feel very happy. So, just like this, in our dreams, depending on what we hear, we might feel. Happy, we might feel fearful, and、uh, on this basis, we find ourselves very feeling,、uh, being very tired and vexed. But in actual fact, none of these sounds exist in the external world. The dreamer doesn't realize that they are、um, perceiving them at the level of their own,、uh, their own body.、Uh, they don't realize this is happening. Then we. 啊，在现实生活当中，我们就认为啊，我们听到的声音跟梦里面啊完全是不一样啊，因为梦是假的，我们听到的就是真实的、存在的啊，这么认为啊。但是如果我们再进一步的去分析的时候呢，原来在现实生活当中，我们听到的所谓的声音啊，也跟就是梦里面啊，原来就是完全是一样。But everyone, everyone tends to believe that the in our everyday waking lives, the sounds that we hear are real, whereas those sounds that we hear in our dreams are fake.、Um, however, if we look into this more deeply, then we can arrive at an understanding that, in actual fact, the sounds、uh, that we perceive in our dreams and those that we perceive in our everyday waking lives are exactly the same. 然后佛教啊，就是这么早就告诉我们，我们所听到的声音啊，实际上不是外在的声音，而是我们的耳朵的啊，这个啊感觉，这是一个他的感受啊，外界是没有声音。But Buddhism、uh, told us from very early on that the sounds that we hear do not exist inherently in the external world, but rather are a perception、uh, we experience as a perception of our ear consciousness. 那么这一点啊，科学家也同样发现了，他们也告诉我们啊，声音是不存在的啊，所谓的声音是根本就不存在。那么，什么是声音啊？比如说，说话的人的声带啊，震动的时候，然后它就影响了这个空气，然后呢，在空气当中啊，产生了波，然后这个波就传到我们每一个人的啊耳朵，然后这个波啊就震动了我们的耳膜，这个时候。我们的耳膜因为产生了震动，所以我们就感觉到了一种所谓的声音啊。那么，除了这个以外，外界是没有、没有、没有声音啊。但是我们听到声音的人不知道啊这个道理，我们以为外面就是有声音。Uh, scientists as well have told us that sound doesn't truly exist. That which we understand as sound, in fact, is a case of, say, a speaker speaking, moving their vocal cords,、uh, which uh, produce um, sound waves,、uh, which reach the ear of the hearer, stimulate their. Um, pr- provoke some stimulation, which is then experienced by the listener as sound. Besides this process that takes place, there is no other inherent sound. However, this is not something that the hearer、um, understands.、Uh, the hearer believes this sound to exist in the external world. So, in dreaming, ah, we have this topic, the dreaming signal. The dreaming tells us that. 不但是它是虚拟的，而且我们一直都认为是真实的这个世界啊。蒙就透露给我们一个信息，他说：“不但是我是虚拟的，而且你认为是真实的这个世界啊，也是跟我一样的啊
不真实啊！这就是蒙给我们透露的讯息。So, in terms of the message that dreams tell us, or the main message that dreams tells us, is that just as they are unreal,、um, so too is that world that we regard to be、uh, so real and substantial. What dreams tell us is that they are the same. 但是啊，做梦的时候，我们不知道梦里面的这些东西都是不存在。然后我们回到现实生活的时候呢，我们同样也不知道啊，这个现实生活的这些东西呢，当中的这些东西呢，跟梦一样，我们始终都没有没有发现，那个没有发现啊，物质，这个在佛教里面就叫做无名啊，无名就是物质愚昧，所以我们拼命的去追求外面的。呃，这个各种各样的东西，然后呢，我们又不知道外面的东西到底是什么，在梦里面啊，为什么不知道呢？就是因为我们是无名，嗯，所以不知道梦里面实实际上就是这样子，但是我们也不知道啊。然后呢，回到现实生活的时候，也不知道这是假的啊。为什么不知道？就是因为无名。So in our、uh, dream state, we don't realize that the world that we perceive is unreal. We don't realize this. We don't understand it because of our ignorance. Then,、uh, when we wake up in our ordinary waking lives, just the same, due to ignorance, we don't、uh, recognize the、uh, or understand the lack of substantialness of this existence everywhere. And so, due to this ignorance, we、uh, pursue all kinds. Of、uh, different things, and this is、uh, all on the basis of our ignorance. Then, ah, our consciousness in dreams will enter into our brain and 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 brain 比如说像水道啊、地下通道啊，然后呢不同空气的，然后就是黑暗的啊，然后非常非常狭窄的这个地方啊，然后就感觉很不舒服，呃，很恐惧啊，会梦到这些。When we're dreaming, our consciousness can also travel to channels in our heart and in our brain. It can enter into channels that are extremely narrow, extremely, extremely fine. And、uh, when it does this,、um, we might dream that we have entered into an underground、uh, pipe or channel, which is very narrow and dark with no air, and we might experience great fear. 然后我们的心脏啊和大脑啊，迷踪讲这个心间、大脑都有脉轮啊，脉轮就是脉，脉的一种结构。那那个脉当中呢，有些脉啊，就是比较啊开阔的啊这样子的脉。然后我们的意识进入了这种比较开阔的啊这样子的脉。当中的时候呢，然后我们会梦到啊，我们来到了非常开阔的草原啊，或者是海边啊啊，这样子的会做这样子的梦。And in our hearts and in our brains, there are there are wheels of、uh, channels, and if our consciousness enters into、uh, larger and more open channels, then it is possible that we will dream of open, expansive spaces such as a、uh, grassland or the ocean. Then we have some part, some some mind, ah, the brain and the brain, the some mind. 啊，就我们的意识进入了这这个脉里面的时候呢，他就会看到很多过去的啊，过去的，比如说以前的人啊，过去的人，已经啊去世的人啊，就是经常就会碰到这些人。And there are also some channels in the heart and in the brain that, when our consciousness enters into them, we dream of things of the past, including people who have already died. Then, some mind, 
啊，有些买进入了有些卖，里面的时候呢，他就会看到未来的啊，即将啊要发生的未来需要未来未来会发生的一些事情啊，他就会梦到。And then there are other channels that, when our consciousness enters into, we dream of things or events that will occur in the future. Ah, 比如说啊，我们就是平时啊啊，就有一句话，就是叫做啊，日所思啊，夜所梦。就是说，我们白天我们去思考的这些东西呢，梦里面啊会出现。呃，当然很多梦是是有这样子的，但是根本不是所有的梦都是这样子。啊、uh, ，there is、um, a saying that the things that we think about during the day we will、uh, dream about at night, but in it's not the case that、uh, this is the this this happens in all dreams, or that what is experienced in all dreams is a result of this. 比如说啊。我们有一个朋友啊，十年都没有见啊，十年都没有见。然后呢，我今天啊，也就根本就没有去向这个人啊，根本就没有去向。然后呢，也根本没有听到关于他的任何的消息啊。但是我今天晚上梦到了，梦到了以后呢，却是啊，明天啊，我就见到了他，或者是我听到了他的啊，关于他的某些。啊，这个消息啊，这个就是我们的现实生活当中每一个人都有的这种经历啊，每一个人都会有的。Everyone has an experience, or has likely had an experience of something like, say,、uh, not having seen a friend in ten years, not having even thought about them, and not having heard any news about them, and yet. Uh, dreaming that they will meet them tomorrow, and、uh, then or dreaming about them, and then meeting them the next day, or perhaps hearing news about them the following day.、Uh, nearly everyone has had an experience like this. 在白天啊，我从来没有去说过或者想过的这样子的事情啊，然后梦里面就梦到了，然后呢，就过两天啊，没过多久。哦，确实是就发生了跟梦里面的一模一样的事情，啊，这个经历，呃，我们绝大多数的人都会有的。So a situation where during the day we don't even turn our minds to something,、uh, but then at night we dream about it, and then a couple of days later, or a particular time, or you know, within a short amount of time, things actually take place as we dreamt about them at night. Almost everyone has an experience like this. 然后啊，还有一些比较重大的事情啊。将来会发生的一些重大事情，比如说一个月内啊、两个月之内发生的一些重大事情啊，好的或者是不好的啊，这样子的重大事情也会提前梦到啊。这个不是所有人，这个有些人的梦是非常非常灵的啊，有些人就提前会梦到啊，梦到了以后呢，确实就是发生了这样子的事情。And then there are、uh, times when、uh, we dream about important events in advance, so extremely important or consequential events of a good nature and a bad nature. Sometimes we might dream about these、uh, one or two months before they actually take place. These are all real events. These are all real events. They are real events. 嗯，几乎每一个人的这个的这个经历当中啊，也会有这样子，所以我们没有没有办法简单的说啊，日说是夜说梦，那么这个是说不通的啊。当然有一部分梦可以，有一部分的梦是可以这样子解释，但是呢，呃，根本不是所有梦啊都是这样子。
are, are real, they're true, they do take place and uh, the majority of people have had these kinds of experiences. So we can't dismiss these dreams simply by saying those things that we think about during the day, we dream about at night. While that might be the case in some cases, it certainly doesn't, uh, doesn't explain all dreams. 比如说死亡的这个比如说死亡的征兆比如前兆比如说他每一天都是梦一种同样的一个非常非常特殊的这个梦那这样子的话就有可能是一个月两个月或者一年之类这个人会死亡也有这样子的这个梦那么为什么
Uh, so, as mentioned before, there are many different levels to uh, dream yoga practice. Uh, the advanced levels we're not going to talk about today, tonight, but uh, uh, rather uh, describe a few basic practices related to dream yoga. So why is it that we uh, practice dream yoga? What's our purpose or our aim? Is it just for fun? No, it's uh, not just for fun, it rather by entering into uh, the dream to and perceiving dreams and then returning to our ordinary waking lives, um, we are able to perceive them as being just like dreams. Woman,每一天晚上都在做梦,也就是说我们每一天晚上都在进入这个梦的世界里面,但是我们每一次进入梦的世界就是迷茫的,就是迷茫,我们不知道这个梦里面的世界是什么,到时候我们都不知道自己
，啊，就是一种这样子的潜能，啊，就是比如说我们进入睡眠的时候，睡眠的时候啊，过去。没有闹钟啊，这样子的时候呢，比如说我明天啊，什么什么时候要起床啊，要醒过来啊，这样子的话，没有闹钟啊，这种情况下，然后进入睡眠之前啊，非常专注、非常认真的呃、啊、去思考啊，明天啊，我什么时候啊，就是要这个时候我一定要醒过来啊，这样子入眠，然后呢，到时候啊。And the reason that this is effective is because our consciousness, our minds, have a certain power. They have a certain latent potential um, uh, that is、uh, associated with the thoughts that we、uh, bring with us when we enter into sleep. So, in the past, when no alarm clocks existed, it was still possible for people to、um, think. Uh, very intensely prior to going to sleep to set the intention to wake up at a specific time, and by thinking this with great intention prior to going to sleep, it was possible for them to wake up at that hour. 除了除了睡眠啊，还有大坐的时候啊，比如说有一种禅定，有一种禅定是完全是控制了我们的思维的活动啊。啊，思维的活动完全是停止，停止了啊，停止了。那停止了以后呢？停止了以后呢？然后就没有办法啊，知道我什么时候从这个禅定当中出来啊，他不知道应该什么时候出来。And it's also the case with、uh, meditative states. It's possible to、um, enter a meditative state、uh, or to do a practice where that controls one's mental activity entirely, where it's possible to stop one's mental activity such that one is not even aware of when one will exit the meditative state. But this kind of meditation, ah. 不能超过七天，如果超过了七天，然后人的身体啊就承受不住。那这样子他怎么办啊？他一进入了这个禅定的时候呢，因为他没有没有这种直觉啊，没有直觉，没有更没有这个思维。那么什么时候应该出来呢？啊，他他那个时候就没有直觉，他不知道应该什么时候出来。那这是唯一的办法，就是啊。还没有，就是要开始进入这个禅定的时候啊，决定啊，非常认真的、非常专心的去想啊，我打坐打三天啊，三天结束的时候，我一定要从这个禅定当中啊出来，然后打坐，这样子以后呢，第三天的时候，他一定会自然的从这个禅定当中啊出来啊，那么。我们的意识啊，就有一个这样子的功能。So, if it's the case that a meditator who abides in this state of、uh, meditative concentration for、uh, for this period of time is not Aware or doesn't have any mental activity, well, then、uh, how is it that they exit this state?、Um, I should mention that this、uh, state of meditation is not one that a practitioner can engage in for more than seven days because their body is unable to endure a period longer than this. So, if this is the case, then how is it that the practitioner、um, uh, exits the state if they don't have any mental activity in the state? Well, the way that they do this is by Um, setting the intention,、uh, the mental intention, strongly before entering into the meditation to exit the meditative state at a particular time. So they might enter into the meditation with the plan to exit after three days, and、uh, this is,、um, and then they enter into the meditation, and then automatically or naturally after three days they are able to exit that state. So this is a latent potential or power that our consciousness possesses. 然后啊，人死了以后。就会进入到中阴啊，那么中阴的时候啊，临终的时候也要用这种方法啊。等一下我死了以后，我进入中阴的时候，我一定要知道啊，一定要知道我已经来到了这个中阴啊。这个时候我千万不能迷茫，我必须要
清醒的、非常清醒的认识到啊，当时的情况啊，这样子临终的时候非常专心的去想啊，然后呢，这样子以后呢，到临到到这个中阴的时候啊，他一下子啊就会呃知道啊，自己已经在中阴当中啊，这样子这个这种。力量啊，这种功能啊，这种我们的意识的这种功能，佛教在很多时候都在用。And it's not just in meditation. Also, at the time of death,、um, one enters, or after dying, one enters into the bardo or intermediate state, and、uh, it is possible for the dying person at the time of their death to remind themselves. That when they enter into the bardo state, they must、uh, lucidly recognize that they are in this state. They、um, cannot afford to be confused. They must lucidly recognize the state. So this is something that they can think about with great intensity and conviction at the time of death, and then actually be able to realize that they're in the bardo state when they arrive there. So this is、um, a capacity that our consciousness or our minds possess, and it's. Something that Buddhism frequently puts to use. 好，这种方法，我们如果是稍微认真一点啊，去做这样子的话，一个月啊，最是最晚呃一个月啊之内啊，一定会成功的。So this method or this exercise, if you are quite diligent, it's possible within a period of one month to be successful. 啊，有些人呢也不需要一个月啊，一两个星期啊，一两个星期就可以。Some people don't need one month. One or two weeks is enough. 好，这样子以后呢，我们开始做梦的时候啊，他就立即就啊发现啊，我在做梦啊，然后呢，我现在看到的啊不是真实的啊，这个就是梦境，我人啊已经在梦世梦的世界里啊，这样子。啊，非常清楚的，呃，认识到。So by、uh, practicing in this way, it is possible for a person to clearly recognize that they have entered into the dream state and to see that、uh, everything that they see and perceive is not real. For them to very clearly recognize that they are in a dream. 啊，还有嘛，我们在现实生活当中，比如说我们嘛，就是来到了，比如说像商场啊，商场人很多的地方啊，大街上啊，或者是有些比较奇妙的啊，比如自然界，比如说很生气的森林呢、啊、岩石呀啊，就是这样子的。地方啊，来到这样子的地方的时候呢，然后也就提醒自己，哦，这个不是，呃，现实嘛，这个就是梦啊，我现在在做梦啊，就是告诉自己，实际上不是在做梦，实际上就是在现实生活当中啊，但是这是一种训练啊，要说啊，而且要说啊，要要要发出声音啊，告诉自己啊，这个不是现实生活，这是梦啊，这个商场。这么多的人，大街上这么多的人啊，然后这个，呃，嗯，各种各样的，比如说花园啊、森林啊等等啊，这都是大海啊，这些呃都不是现实的，这是梦啊，就这么去想，然后要告诉自己啊，这样子做训练，这样以后呢，很快就在梦里面啊，就认识到梦的世界。Another practice or method of training that we can put into use in our everyday waking lives is when we are in a place like a shopping center, where there's a lot of people, or in a busy street, or in some kind of more、um, extraordinary natural place—a forest or by some cliffs—we should remind ourselves or say to ourselves that、uh, what we are seeing or where we are is not real; that we are in a dream, and we should tell ourselves,、uh, "This is not real.、Uh, I am in a dream."
not only should we tell ourselves or, or think this, we should also say it out loud, I am dreaming. Um, so even though this isn't, isn't the case, we, we're not in a dream, we're in everyday waking life, nevertheless, this is a, a method of training that we can practice. So whether it's in a shopping center, on a street with lots of people, in a garden, in a forest, by the ocean, we should tell ourselves and say out loud that this is not real, it's a dream. And uh, by engaging in this form of training, it's uh, possible for us to very rapidly recognize that we are in the dream state when we enter a dream. 几十年前,大约二十年前,西方科学家根本就不相信梦里面可以认识到梦。Around 20 years ago, Western scientists didn't believe that it was possible to recognize that one was dreaming in a dream. Holayoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyo
，通过这个训练，在梦里面深深的体会到啊，一切都是虚拟的，虚拟的。如果只要自己啊不害怕、不恐惧、不执着这样子的话，其实会什么也实际上是不会发生任何事情啊。然后就是梦里面的这些呃、啊、各种各样的情绪啊。然后就完全就可以控制了。So by training,、uh, training in dreams in this manner, it's、uh, possible to gain a very deep experiential understanding of the lack of substantiality of dreams, and by not having fear and、uh, not clinging to the various experiences that we come across, we realize that nothing will. Happen, and so therefore, it becomes possible for us to control the various moods and emotional states within our dream. 然后每一天啊，早上从梦里啊醒过来的时候呢，然后就是坐在床上啊，去想一想啊，昨天我做了那么多的梦啊，梦里面的那些东西啊，就那么啊，表面上看起来那么像个一个真实的啊，但是呢，我现在醒过来了以后呢。啊，这些都不存在，都已经消失。呃，同样的，我现在啊，又要开始啊，面对另外一个生活，啊，另外一个世界，这个叫做这个不叫这个梦啊，梦的世界，这个叫做现实生活啊，真实的世界。那么，这个真实的世界啊，也就是我昨天晚上在梦里。啊，面对的这个世界一样，其实这个世界也是完全是可以消失的，嗯，可以消失的，不真实的啊，这么去认真的去，非常专注的去啊思考一下。And then every morning、uh, after we wake up, we should、uh, sit there and、uh, look back, think about the dreams that we had、uh, that night, and we will、uh, and think to us ourselves that、uh, we had many, many dreams. On the surface, they appeared to be real, but in actuality, they weren't. They disappeared, and、uh, we should also、uh, then think to ourselves that we are now. Moving into a different world,、um, we are now coming to confront a different、uh, realm. This isn't the dream world; it is that of our everyday waking life. But uh, it is uh, in, it is the same as the dream state in so far as it too can dis- disappear, and it too is not real. So we should think in this way with great concentration. 好，然后我们呢，就是面对了一个新的世界，也就是现实的世界。那这个当中啊，平时我们啊，把这些这个世界里面的所有东西，我们都把它当做是真实的啊。然后呢，特别的执着，然后因为这个执着啊，让我们特别的烦恼啊，非常的苦恼啊。平时都是这样子。那么现在我们把梦里面的经验啊。就拉到这个现实生活当中啊，当然梦里面我们可以从悬崖上可以跳下去啊，但现实生活当中当然不可以<笑>。这个现在还不到时候啊，但是呢，啊，但是呢，有很多东西呢跟梦里面完全是一样，可以这样子看啊。这样子以后呢，就我们对现实生活的这些执着、这些烦恼啊，就慢慢的会淡化。So by entering into the everyday world of our waking lives, this is usually one that we regard to be real and substantial. And due to this, we give rise to a great deal of attachment, which leads to all kinds of affliction and、uh, vexation. However, by bringing the experience that we have gained from our dreams into our everyday waking lives,、uh, it is、uh, possible for us to、uh, realize that、uh, they too are、uh, unsubstantial and unreal. So, even though we might be able to jump off a cliff with、uh, no problem in our dreams, that's something we probably aren't quite yet ready for in our everyday lives.、Um, nevertheless, we can look upon much in our everyday lives in the same way as we do during our dreams, and as a result of this, our attachment. 
and negative emotion will become lessened. 好，这个时候，我们啊，虽然对这个这个物质世界的执着啊，就是呃淡化了啊，没有那么的严重啊，但是呢，我们人啊，可以照样的可以生活啊，照样的可以生存，但是。这个时候啊，我们的这个生存的目标啊，生活的目的啊，这跟之前是不一样啊，啊不一样啊，但是也一样的可以生活啊，一样的可以工作啊，那不一样的是什么呢？不一样的这个生活，这个工作不会给我们带来这么多的烦恼啊，不会给我们带来这么多的执着和苦恼。So in our everyday lives, in the material、uh, realm, we will、uh, our attachment to it will be、uh, less strong. It will be less serious. But this won't prevent us from continuing to live our ordinary lives. This we can continue to do. However, we will find that our purpose of existence, that our meaning in life, will have changed. So even though we will. Uh, can continue to live and work as we previously did. The difference will be that our ordinary lives, our working lives, etc., will no longer、uh, create such affliction, attachment, and vexation. 好，这样子我们从这个梦的世界和现实世界这两个世界当中啊，一样的可以决心啊，可以舒心啊，我们可以醒过来啊，完全是可以的。呃，就像我们从梦里面可以醒过来一样，从现实当中也完全是可以的。So from both of these worlds, from our dream realm and the realm of our everyday、uh, waking lives, it is possible to awaken. So just as it's possible to wake up from a dream, so too is it possible to wake up from our everyday waking lives. 嗯，那么。我们啊，继续做梦啊，还是从此以后就从这个梦里醒过来啊？这个最后就由自己决定。As to whether we continue to go on dreaming or wake up from the dream, this is something that everyone needs to decide for themselves. 如果我们啊，先暂时不想醒过来，想继续做梦啊，也可以，但是我们要准备啊，要做一些好的梦。啊，不要做噩梦。嗯、If we decide that we want to continue to keep dreaming and not wake up, that's okay. But we should endeavor to have good dreams rather than bad dreams. 然后啊，我们要去思考怎么样去做好梦。And we need to give some thought to how we should go about having good dreams. 好，今天我们的这个讲座啊，讲到这里。So、uh, that is the conclusion of the teaching this evening. 好，我们现在大家回想，把我们今天的这个功德分享给所有的众生。我们希望啊，以我们的功德，能够天下所有的众生啊，幸福快乐，然后最后大家都能够解脱、了脱生死啊，以这样子的心愿做回向。Uh, so we are now going to dedicate the merit of tonight's teaching to all living beings, and do so with the aspiration that they all enjoy happiness and then ultimately、um, achieve liberation. So nam dui tam ju zhu ba nia tu ni ni bi zha ba ba xie zhi, ji ga nan ji wa lu zhu ba. 这边做连着啊，做热手，我们红班整个热班马色的红，我们红班整个热班马色的红，我们。